I've never met anybody with so many talents and has had so much effect on people. I, I, I really admire Lorne and I, I think everybody who works with him admires him because of his ability to really connect so easily with, with, with every, at every level, for, from students to senior politicians. We have uh, several hundred million people infected with hepatitis B worldwide. With the direct development of lamivudine plus his research indicating where to go to make better drugs, he, he has played an enormous role in hepatitis B research. In the hepatitis B and the hepatitis C work, I would say that everything that we've done, there's been important contributions made from trainees and uh, young people that have been in as graduate students or postdoctoral fellows. My whole work in hepatitis B came from preparing lectures to teach to a graduate course in about 1985-86. Within a year we had patents on a number of compounds that looked very active and from there we worked together with Glaxo and developing that first antiviral for hep B. I was a medical student when I first met him and he was a resident in training. All of us who interacted with him thought, I want to grow up to be just like him. He has remained perpetually youthful, and out of that play come, you know, the, these new concepts that no one's ever thought of before. You know how children will color a tree purple. Well, he sees purple trees. He wrote the report in the mid-90s that convinced the provincial ministries of health to increase the number of medical students, that we really were going to hit a limit, and that we, didn't, we weren't training enough medical students uh, for, for the needs of the growing population, the aging population. We're just uh, working on a paper right now to look at 10 years later, what is the impact of that, and it's, it's really quite gratifying. Uh, at the time we undertook this, there were 1,577 first-year medical students in Canada, and now there's well over 2,500, and we were looking for 2,500. The creation of the Li Ka-Shing Institute here, Virology, is another major accomplishment. Lauren worked for over 10 years to make this happen, to convince the funders that this was a, a great place to invest for virology research. And I think he's so good at everything because um, he's trying to help people and that's his priority. It's not about his personal ambition and his personal achievements, it's because he's focused on what's good for the community and uh, that empowers him to do so many things and of course he's multi-talented to do it as well and deliver. get quite emotional thinking about it actually. <laughs> he's exceptional.